Hi, and welcome to another Married to Reselling video. We are Faye and Simon. We're a husband and wife reselling team who buy and sell. We buy from mainly auctions and charity shops. Uh, we have done a recent Facebook pickup, so stay tuned to see what that is. Today's video is brimming with the usual good stuff. We've got customer messages and disputes. We've got a haul to show you. We've got what's sold as usual and some other pickups from here and there. But first we're gonna show you some Hornsey that Faye has been working on. This is the Hornsey pickup. So we, we gave you a sneak peek from the boot already uh, in the last video. This is pretty much everything that we've got. Um, we have plates, lunch plates, side plates, saucers, cups, teapot, we have three jugs, we have these little dudes, um, we have mugs, they're the bolo, um, bowls, oh I've wrapped the bowls, um, there's two types of bowls, it's like your regular, this type. And then there's kind of the more cylindrical style, which are um, harder to come by and more popular okay. uh, with collectors. Uh, and then there's a butter dish, two butter dishes, a round butter dish and a rectangular butter dish, but they're also uh, packed up. Just remind everyone, uh, what did we pay? How many units have we got? What's the cost price per unit? Stuff like that. We paid £130. Now, interestingly, when we went into the charity shop and I saw all this laid out, it actually wasn't all this, it was just a small amount of this and it had a price saying uh, £30. Uh, two ladies were looking at it, uh, so I waited patiently for them to move out of the way and I said to Simon I want to buy this, so I went to the counter and apparently, the, well I know the ladies weren't very happy, they looked shocked, but I mean, well, there you go. I bought it. Yeah, that's what happens in a shop, isn't it? Yeah, so she said, oh, um, no problem. I've got lots more out the back. Do you want that as well? So I said, well, okay. Shortly at 150 for it all, I said 130. Which on reflection is quite funny, isn't it? Because the, the, the stuff that was on the shelf fit in one box, and that was 30 quid. Yeah. But we ended up with four boxes, yeah. which if you were charged by the box would have been 120. Yeah. <laughs> she wanted 150, we went for 130. There was more out the back than there was on the shelf. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, so basically we got four mugs. These are the ones that are quite hard to come by. We got uh, one rectangular butter dish. We got 14 dessert bowls, 26 lunch plates. Four oh, lunch plates. No, they're lunch plates. Uh, one coffee pot, which is in the kitchen on the draining board because I rinsed it out. One teapot, that's there. Boom. 30 side plates, which are here. No, they're saucers. Oh, oh you're, the tripods on them. You're resting on them. <laughs> 22 teacups. We couldn't believe it. These just kept coming out, didn't they? Yeah. Oh, they got chipping it. Yeah, a few of them out. Oh. 20, 23 saucers. A vinegar jar. No, that's called a sales of the unexpected now. Ah, oh, Peter. Um, two pepper pots. A salt pot that looks the same. And a like sort of preserves pot or something. Mm. Room for a spoon. Seven cereal bowls. They're the ones that are packed up. Uh, sugar storage. Nice. It says sugar on it. It does. It's, it's a clue. Uh, the round butter dish which is packed away, um, another sort of jam preserves or sugar jar, seven egg cups, um, one of these which is like the egg cups on a rack. It's like if you're having a flight of eggs. <laughs> yeah. Like a beer flight but an egg flight. My mum said like ketchup, mayo, mustard, that's yeah, horseradish. A flight of condiments. Yeah. From mild to spicy. A same again, but three a three sized one. Um, a jug and a saucer. A medium jug, a small jug, and nineteen dinner plates. That's one hundred and sixty eight items, and it worked out at seventy seven p each. Wow. 
And is, did you say everything was listed or drafted? I've listed everything on eBay. A couple of bits have already been cross-listed to Etsy. Sweet, so if you do a Hornsey search on eBay, it will give us the value, won't it, of listed? So I've just done um, a search on eBay of my active Hornsey listings. I didn't have any Hornsey for sale until I listed this. We didn't have any um, currently in stock. And it, it breaks down how many listings I've got and the total um, price, if I was to sell it all at the price I've listed it at, and that's £968.64p. Woohoo! Uh, I will take offers, sensible ones, um, and I have cross-listed, well, I have cross-listed a few bits to Etsy and the rest I'm um, in the process of cross-listing. And how are you doing the cross-listing? I am using ZipSale. Very good? Yeah, it's good. Should I do a video about it? No. <laughs> yeah. So I'm really, really pleased with all of this. Uh, I said to Simon when we left the shop, I said, would you have picked that up if you were here without me? And he wasn't 100% sure. Um, I'd like to think that he would, would you? Yeah, I think in hindsight I would, because I know the plates, you know, you can get good money just for four of those plates and you've got like 19 yeah. of them, haven't you? Yeah. Um, and then, I guess if she'd have said, oh, I've got more and stuff, I'd have probably said, well, maybe I'd have surprised you. I'd have said, how quickly can you list 160 Hornsey items, <laughs> though? Should I buy it all? Well, yeah, the thing is, if it was 160 different items, it wouldn't take me too long, because I just create um, create a draft and then create similar, and then just change a few key points in the title and item specific. So it's really quick. But I'd like to think you would have phoned me if all else failed. Um, but I know you've bought, I'm sure you've bought Hornsey Home before, um, so know. yeah, I'm really pleased with this pickup, it's all going to be listed, so let's hope this weekend that um, we can sell a lot of it. I bought that um, wicked uh, Hornsey Reflex. You did? did really well, didn't you? You did. Or was it Denby? It's not Denby Reflex, is it? It's Hornsey Reflex. Don't know. Anyway, I'll cut that. I'll end it that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, if you see Hornsey Saffron, or any Hornsey for that matter, look it up. Obviously, don't just go and buy it straight away because I don't know how much they're charging in your charity shop. Um, if they're sell selling this jug and saucer for 20 quid, I wouldn't pick that up. Um, but a few pounds per item, or at car boot sales, I'm sure it's cheap. Um, I definitely recommend it. And Hornsey have so many different patterns. There are Hornsey groups on Facebook, sort of collectors. They don't just um, collect dinnerware. There's all sorts of things, pictures, um, little owls are very popular. Just familiarize yourself with the range and a lot of it's very collectible. Stay tuned to find out what we picked up um, from Facebook today. Uh, that's an interesting one because actually I don't really know what we picked up from Facebook today. Also, what sold this week? Oh yeah, I nearly forgot. Don't forget to stay tuned for the messages because there's now as queer as folk. In the last video, Simon, um, I could hear him doing it, I wasn't involved in it, uh, he was asking about some vintage cutlery or even antique cutlery because I don't really know how old it is. Here you go, here's some of it. Um, it's something Elliot, Henry Elliot and Sons. And I showed my mum the other day, I was like, mum, I've had this for ages, I haven't listed it because I don't know what the handles are made of. And I know that um, some are bone, um, but I don't think these are. And it turns out that loads of you, I've looked back through the video, watched it, and then read all your comments, um, have helped out enormously, saying it's possibly bake light. Uh, and there are a couple of um, messages or comments that sort of went into a bit of detail. So I really, really appreciate that because that means I can list it um, and get it off the spare room floor. Um, stay tuned for messages and what's sold and anything else that we decide to stick in the video as well. <laughs> yeah. We're not gonna put a palette update in this week, but if you miss it and you want us to start putting them back in again, then just let us know because we're still tracking it for ourselves. Now, we've got a charity shop haul, it's not too much, most of it's for Amazon, as usual. Faye will be scanning on the Amazon app. The Amazon app shows us current selling prices. There's a little bit for eBay as well. We sell this stuff on Amazon generally because it just sells quicker and for a better price, but a lot of things that have a good price on, or good value on Amazon will also be the same on eBay, not everything, and vice versa as well. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. 
So it was uh, a whistle stop tour, really, wasn't it? It was, yeah. What were we doing? Oh, yeah, I was getting my hair cut. So here we go. We have a, a couple of books. This is Reflexive. Reflexive? Reflexive? Reflexive. Methodo methodology. Reflexive. Reflexive. Methodology. It costs £2.49 and it's currently for sale used at 10.06 but there are none in FBA. Did I say we're scanning on the Amazon app and the Amazon app's free? Uh, you said we're scanning on the Amazon app, we didn't say it was free. Okay, so if you've got an Amazon seller account, get the Amazon app. If you haven't got a seller account, just open the seller account. It's free, you don't have to do the paid monthly one. Uh, and you can start using it to scan stuff. It's a lot easier, I think, I feel, like scanning things with barcodes is a lot easier scanning on the Amazon app than it is on the eBay app. Um, purely because both platforms are so different anyway. With Amazon, there's just one page for each product and all the diff different sellers go on the same page, whereas eBay, it's exactly the opposite. Every seller's got their own page. So this one was one ninety nine, and it's currently selling used for sixteen seventy four on Amazon. But there again, there are none in FBA, so it just means we can maybe go a little bit higher. Mm. Uh, do you want to do that? This. Yeah, I grabbed this purely because it was three pounds. They're very popular. It's a jumbo lint remover. The Philips ones had gone up in price a lot, so I just thought for three pound, why not give it a go? Stick it on eBay. Or just say give it to your sister if it's not worth anything. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, right, some DVDs. Don't switch off because a lot of people, I think, don't look at DVDs if they don't sell on Amazon. But as I already said a minute ago, and I say in every video, uh, there's really good money in DVDs even now. People say, you know, the DVD market's dead, um, but you know, we're selling DVDs every day. So, mm -hmm. uh, Line of Duty. Now, this one, Faye had left the shop, she'd given it to me uh, to buy and it didn't have a price on it. And when the lady sort of said, oh, it's not got a price on it. Uh, and she said, oh, it's a fiver, okay. Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, 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 thinking probably not, but I don't really know, because I didn't scan it, faded. So we've paid a fiver for this, and I'm guessing it's bad news. It's a brand new and sealed line of duty. There's only one in FBA, £10.32. So let's hope that one sells, and then we can list ours higher. Yeah, so it's, uh, at worst it's break even, I suppose. But you know, it's a big outlay, isn't it, for break even at the end for one little DVD? Yeah. Uh, the Walking Dead, the complete third season. You grabbed this, didn't you? I don't remember picking this up. It was a pound. Um, Brand new. Five pound ninety, but none in FBA. Okay. Uh, the Mighty Boosh. They grabbed this one as well. It was also a pound. Brand new and sealed. Yeah, £9.40, none available in FBA. Uh, this one is, oh yeah, I think I got this, two ninety. yeah, Oxfam, £2.99. It's used, it's Star Wars, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, so the first three. Uh, only available used, £9.76, none in FBA again. This was a picture scan. Oh, what a big grommet. Well, some grommet, the curse of the wear of it. It's brand new and sealed. <clears throat> Paid two ninety nine. Twelve ninety nine. Oh, and we're in Oxfam, and Oxfam always has the sort of weird stuff. Niche. Niche, yeah, not weird. Niche. And then you find some really surprising stuff, and quite often they'll be priced pretty high for DVDs like this one, Mr. Holland's Opus. Never heard of it. Richard Dreyfus is brand new and sealed. Uh, Paid two ninety nine. It's always worth checking when you're buying in Oxfam the region. You're looking for region three or that's free or region two which is us uh europe um because they often have a lot of like import stuff yeah this one is new at 17.94 i picked a couple up in oxfam too uh gods and monsters i definitely remember getting this one it's 2.99 brand new and sealed yeah only available used for three pounds 17. so where it's three pounds 17 used then the world is your oyster on you. We'll look at Keeper and check historical pricing, but I'd sort of be aiming at 20 quid. This is the best of The Comedians, series one to seven. 9.99 paid up for this, brand new and sealed. 23.99. Wally. I fell asleep watching this on a plane, didn't I? Yeah, Dubai. it was so loud. I could hear it coming out of headphones. I don't know how you slept through that. 1.99, brand new and sealed. 9.25. 
and two men went to war, 199, brand new and sealed. 1498, and an FBA. <clears throat> I think you might have got this. The Gondoliers, 199, brand new and sealed. It's Australian Opera, 19 pounds 26, and an FBA. And that one is all regions. Uh, I think I got this. This is used two ninety nine, and as I said, it's used. I think I got that. Oh, okay, did you check the uh, disc? Yeah, it's looking nice. Twenty one pound ninety seven. None in FBA used. Ooh. Dragon Blade, brand new and sealed. Ninety nine p. Eight ninety eight. I got this. Uh, One ninety nine for. Cilia Adriana Le Couvrier. £10.90. Brand new and sealed, yeah. Yeah. Brand new. Uh, the epic action. Oh. We've got a loose disc. £2.99. £69.25, none in FBA. It's a shame. Thank because you. it is brand new and sealed. The amount of DVDs we send in to Amazon new that aren't moving around, but by the time they get to the customer, probably are, it happen, must happen all the time. Yeah. Also, it's not always a disc. It can be a leaflet, but mm. can you hear that? So that noise is the housing, isn't it? A bit snapped off and that's why mm. the discs come out. So it's a risk. That is a risk. A so. risk to the disc. Yeah, it's, you know, the, the thing is with Amazon FBA is that you don't play any part in customer service. If a customer wants to return that, then they will and there will be no questions asked. Um, so it is a risk. Uh, the final test, brand new and sealed. £20. If. 99 pence. Uh, £12.98. Claude Chabrol collection. I've definitely got this. Three ninety nine. That one is forty one pound sixty two used, non available new, and we've got new. Nice. Family guys sealed inside. Season thirteen, and we paid one pound. Not available new. Revenge. I think you might have got this. Yeah. How much is it? Uh, two pounds. It's sealed, but it's it's unmistakably damaged. It's got damage on the corner and damage on that. Doesn't matter though, because new it's thirty two fifty seven and used it's thirty three. That's good. So I'll set it as uh, used like new, and then I can write a condition note as to what is up. Yeah. Cool. So that's the DVDs. What else did you get? Uh, oh, we got a few games and, oh, let's do these first. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Faye's got a really heavy foot and when we were on the way back from the charity shop, she floored it out of a junction and I just heard this go rolling around in the boot. No, you didn't. You're looking confused. Look, that was today? Yes, this was today. Oh, was it? Yes. Oh, yeah. I haven't got a heavy foot, I just had to move off from the junction. There was no one near, it was just one of those junctions where when there is a lot of traffic you want to floor it. Faye just floors it, whatever. Uh, so now it's got a nice um, scratch on it here, which is a shame, uh, but it shouldn't matter too much. It's a used Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy complete radio series on uh, CD. £71.43 oh. used. Yeah, and I also checked it on eBay as well, because we can't, oh, is it in books? Wow, it's in books, that's brilliant. Uh, I scanned it earlier and it came up as in CDs, which we can't sell music on Amazon. Um, or in CDs, audio CD or whatever, so that's great. How much did you pay? Uh, I paid 12.99, and on eBay it's selling for 40 quid, and it, it's selling like low supply and high demand. Cool. So, even better. Yeah. Just have to remember to write that it's got a scratch on it from rolling around in the boot. Mm -hmm. It was rolling around on against this. Remember this? <laughs> 13 
$34.99 new. <laughs> uh, Bolo. We've sold two of these in two days uh, for around uh, 16, 17 pounds. Uh, it's used, five second rule, and it's got this timer in it. And I can't do this one, which is not a good sign. Um, that makes a really weird. The cards are still sealed in there. Oh, yeah. Everything's sealed. Are. All of it's sealed. <laughs> That's the timer. So it's currently for sale used at $14.99 and we got two. How much did that one cost? Spoiler! We got that one which was £4 and we got this one which was only £3.50. <laughs> Harry Potter! The board game, it's extremely heavy. I have no idea what's in here. Oh look. 3363 used. It's lovely when it's like that. So half the things are still on. Well, they're not really sprues when they're cardboard, I don't think, whatever you call it. Look, loads of it's all, so those are still on there, but then all these tokens still on. Yeah, it's 3363 used, none in FBA, but it's 26, or sorry, 3296 new. So go for like twenty eight ninety nine. Still don't understand why it's so heavy. Ah, oh, well you'll figure that out mm. when you're not using up all of our time. Sorry about that. <laughs> Getting told off. Downfall, really handy actually because I have a spare of this which was in the last video and I made up. I needed it and I've still got spare bits and spare counters uh, and all that shenanigans. One of the, one of them was new downfall because it says new. With Amazon, you kind of want to match up what it shows in the picture. Um, which, this one doesn't. Oh, you see, that one says new, so I've got to do a picture scan and find this version because see at the top of there, above downfall, it says new. And it's got a big white stripe down the side. Yeah, so I can't. So that's what it scans at. So we can try a uh, picture scan. No. Yeah, no, yeah, I said no. Uh, it could be eBay fodder, but uh, still happy with the purchase. Uh, I don't think it's going to have a price out of £3. Raven, oh, sorry, what's it called? Ravensburger. Uh, it's a 100 piece, super 100, it says on it, and it's sealed. Exotic fauna. Now, I grabbed this um, because I thought it would do well on eBay. It doesn't have a rank or any reviews on. Amazon, which is quite unusual for Ravensburger. It could mean, when's it from? Because it could just mean it's dropped off because it's very old. Yeah, 2002. It's vintage, guys. Yeah, yeah. It's vintage, so that, that'll be why. So I'll still sell that. That'll go on Amazon. Okay. Uh, paid three pounds. Ooh, sex in the sea. Oh yeah, you I, said you wanted to play this tonight, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, I caught Faye watching this the other day. The new she, one. She said that oh, I was just on. It was, because I've never watched an episode of it in my life. Three pounds. Out of stock. And, oh, I've done that one. Uh, down to that, be the board game. 350 I paid, it's used. 24.99. Another. I picked this one up too. Another. Ravensburger. And this is sealed also, paid four pounds, 500 piece. This one is out of stock, new and used. Nice, fill to the rafters. Classic pickup, Trivial Pursuit for Kids. Pretty sure we show this every time we do a haul video. Paid £1.99 for that. £14.50. Faye missed this one. She'd already looked at the bric a brac shelf and it was sitting on the top. And it's a Thomas Kincaid who has sadly passed away. It was. What are you laughing at? Nothing. It's, <laughs> yes, it might have been on the bric a brac shelf, but it wasn't bric a brac, so I wasn't really looking at no. it. It's out of stock. You thought it was some um, some old naff Pimpernel placemats that we stopped picking up two years ago. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, past the Bond Junior. Always worth looking out for. See it around quite a lot. And the, the gold one as well, I can't remember, it's called Party or something. One ninety nine. Sixteen forty nine used, not available new. And this, which we have sold before, it was reduced in the charity shop from £15 down to 
pounds. It's Simpsons chest. It's quite nice actually. I've forgotten what they call it. Um, the metal, sorry, not metal, the effect. Um, I forgot what they call it. Oh, antique metal style. 34.98, none FBA. Oh. And then. So that, yeah, that's nearly the end. I picked up a very random purchase, didn't I, mm. yesterday? So I was, I, I didn't want, I think it was an Oxfam. Yeah, it was an Oxfam. Didn't see anything I fancied, so I was just sort of loitering while you were looking still. <coughs> so I went back, back around the shop. And it pays to do that because the amount of times I've seen stuff on my second walk round um, that I've missed on my first sort of look. Um, anyway, there was this pot with loose cutlery in it. And it was, um, the, the handles were sticking out, um, but not the sort of, the actual tool end. And there's a bit of paper stuck to it, like Oxfam do, saying what it was. And it was a vintage Air France cutlery. So it's very niche, Air France. And there were 19 items in there, and they were priced at 99p each, which is a bit random. They should have just bundled it as a set. Um, mm. So I negotiated and got it for 15. Um, there aren't full sets. I think I can maybe do three or four full sets. So there's a knife, a fork, and a spoon. And yeah, you've got enough for four knife, forks, and spoons, and then you've got four forks and three knives. Yeah. So it turns out it's a particular designer that, does, that did this. Yeah, I was just reading. Jo Nath Natalie George, Natalie George. And they, these can sell for like 40 or 50 quid for like a, a couple of sets. So picked them up. Why not? I'll be cross-listing them to Etsy as well. And uh, keep you posted on those ones. That is, I mean, that's insane. And they say like people are watching their um, spending. Yeah. I mean, if we sell a knife, fork and a spoon for 40 quid then the world's gone mad what's your favorite pick up then out of all of that lot? my cutlery let me guess yeah, yeah what's yours me. i think i might go for uh, i won't go for a dvd because it's a bit easy um i think i'll go for the simpsons chess mm. uh i like picking stuff like that up and it's complete i checked it in the shop um oh i mean these are pretty good well they would have been if i didn't have a big scratch down such a plonk uh but yeah there we go that's what we got messages for you now we didn't really have many messages that were worth showing you nothing too spectacular this week everyone's left us alone uh, however there is a bruce from canada update so the background on this was we sold a 30 pound paperweight internationally to canada via etsy uh, within a couple of days, the customer had, had messaged to say it didn't look like it had been dispatched or something or other. Um, and it had, and I sent them a receipt and they said, okay, great. Um, then maybe a week after that, uh, they said, oh, the tracking doesn't work. And I said, well, it, it's, it's not sent tracked, it's international standard, so I wouldn't expect the tracking to work. Uh, to which he just gave a thumbs up. And then now the latest is He's not actually typed anything. He's just sent screenshots of um, what would appear to him to be a crack in the paperweight. Uh, also a screenshot of our condition note, which says no chips or cracks, along with one of our images where he says that that's, that's the crack in your picture. Um, you know, so it just doesn't end with this guy really. There seems to be something at every stage that's that's a problem and th and that's why you know it's a bit suspicious so far i feel like he's been just angling for a refund all the way or something or other um without asking for it and just kind of giving us fyi stuff that hasn't interested us at all he hasn't really sort of said what the problem has been or whether he want actually wants something. yeah he hasn't asked a question or anything has he so this one's come in um so basically i just said great to hear from you again uh so sorry you're not happy with the item uh, if there's a chip or crack on the item and it's not a different sort of blemish, we will of course return for a full refund, which can be requested via the order. Now, it's an international refund, bit of a pain, uh, but again, it's just about saying, you know, if you want to return it, you can return it. And again, it's gone quiet. That was a few days back. So I don't know what this guy's up to, um, but that's kind of really been it for messages this week. Yeah, it's been been quite good so we've had some uh, good stuff sell in the past week across multiple platforms 
So eBay, Etsy, Vinted and Depop. Some of the bits and bobs that have sold um, include the two lots of vintage Brio that we showed you. They were uh, a recent pickup. You found them, didn't you? Yeah. Um, they were one ninety nine each and they sold to the same person, GSP, I think Sweden they went, and one sold for £29 and the other one sold for £26. Actually, one was three ninety nine and one was one ninety nine. I think. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I've even written yeah. that down there, yeah. Uh, we sold the German um, Bierstein for nineteen ninety nine. That was the Paulana one. Yeah, we sold the Wentworth jigsaw puzzle that I listed on the same day I bought it. I actually did the puzzle as well because it's only seventy five piece. That sold for nineteen ninety nine, which is great. Cause it's a seventy five piece puzzle. And we paid one pound fifty. Uh, sold loads of palette items, uh, including H and M, Oasis, Misguided, Zara, and they are all one ninety six each. And they sold across multiple platforms. Um, we've cleared like some old stock of socks. Uh, we sold a pair of diesel jeans that have been hanging around for goodness knows when. I remember when they were originally ordered a couple of months ago and before the guy ordered, he asked us if they didn't think could he return them. So we were like, oh. so of course, yes you can. And sure enough, they got returned and they've just resold for about 10 pound less. Just want to see the back of them. Yeah. Uh, we sold loads of capsule clothing leggings. We sold loads of H&M leggings. They were all on the palette. Um, weird fish dress. There's the leggings. They sold for £17.24 each to the same person. They were £1.96 each. Um, interestingly, I sold an in the style dress. Now, I first had interest on this on Vinted and the customer messaged and said, oh, I live in Northern Ireland. I, I can't choose to have it posted to me. And I said, well, I've got international turned off. Um, it may be a case that Vinted in, um, cover uh, Northern Ireland as international. Um, so, so I sort of <laughs> said, it's also for sale on um, eBay and Depop and I wrote eBay and Depop with spaces in between each letter so if the messages are tracked or anything I could have got kicked off Vinted. I knew it was a risk anyway but uh, I, I was willing yeah. to risk it. I wouldn't do it the other way around. No. I would never send talk, talk to someone on eBay and tell them to come and find me on another platform. I don't know if Vinted really care about that sort of thing do they? We have sold Sahara, sold the Bing Bunny plush um, Fisher Price toy for eleven pound. That was ninety nine p. Sold Weird Fish t shirt. Sold a marble. Oh, we sold the Latticino marble that I showed in the last video with the lattice work in it. Uh, sold some books, some gobel, uh, an antique um, cigarette box. Had this for ages. It was in a job lot from the auction, wasn't it? Um, sort of house clearancey stuff and. I've had loads of interest, loads of people liked it over on eBay and Etsy, but it finally went for eight quid, which, wow. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, some a couple of bundles of Harry Potter books. Oh yeah, so we sold one for 36 98 and the other one for £40.98. Uh, and they were ones where we just needed a few books, which we gathered up at the book sale, which we talked about in the last video. Mm -hmm. And we just need, we've got, one more bundle for sale yeah and we need one book to complete another bundle and then we've and then we're probably out. done unless we just see them for 50p or whatever then yeah. i guess it's, it's kind of worth it isn't it uh, someone here is very optimistic they bought a t-shirt off us that was a bundle a palette item and it's a t white t-shirt and it says summer garden party on the front mm -hmm. with sequins let's hope that they get to a summer garden party uh disney mug um yeah we've, games. yeah we've been selling five second rule which is the one that makes the noise uh you yeah, saw earlier in the video yeah. in the hall uh, i've sold two of those actually cross-listed from amazon to ebay by a joe lister and they're both sold on ebay for about 17 pounds nice one also we sold the arcade machine <gasps> So the arcade machine, uh, which was in our last video, I put it on for, I think I started at 399.99 or something like that. Uh, a day later, I dropped it to 349.99 or something like that. Then I dropped it about a day later again to 299.99 and then I got an offer for 270 and had 15 quid postage on there. I didn't know exactly how much it was gonna cost and I massively underestimated it, but it didn't really matter because uh, it was a high value sale and, and uh, the cost of the item was only about £80. So I sold it for 270 plus 14 postage. It actually cost 60 quid to post. I probably could have got it cheaper, but I'd kind of left it too long and I needed to get it 
dispatch the next day, so we went with Tufnels. Uh, as I said, it was it was 31 kilos and it measured about one and a half meters by one meter, so it was a big old unit. Um, and that's that was kind of the best. You know, UPS were chart, UPS were quoting about 80 pounds. Um, I'm never going to send anything. I don't think Hermes do anything like that size anyway. But I, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't go near them with something like that. Uh, so yeah, really happy. So. Yeah, 285, it cost about 80 plus 60 to post, so that's 140, uh, minus the 10% fee, so that's up to 170. So must have made about 100 to 120 pounds on that. And that has just been sitting in the barn, gathering dust. For more than a year. Um, yeah, for quite some time. And also, uh, as I said in the video, I got a panel protector for Rampage for a different game, so I put that up for sale. Um, so yeah, hopefully that'll sell as well. We sold some vintage glass on Etsy. We've also sold a vintage skirt on Etsy. That was off the palette. And on Vinted and Depop, we have just cleared through loads of palette clothing. Um, so I'm really, really pleased with how it's all going really really pleased and it's listed so it's just great <laughs> so as we said earlier no palette update in this video uh, but we are keeping track of it for ourselves so if you want to see it just pop something in the comments uh, saying palette update please or something like that make sure you've liked the video too otherwise your comment doesn't count so we don't really do much on facebook marketplace um but i do flip through the village one which no one really ever comments on very much there's like a hundred people in this village yeah <laughs> other other people from other towns are are on it and just thought we'd really quickly sort of show you roughly what we've got it was actually man and army men actually so we picked it up it was 20 pounds we don't really know anything about action no. man we did have a job lot from a charity shop a couple of years ago and it did okay by the time i got around to was um, it actually oh yeah it was there was like the diver and yeah i was yeah. listing it live actually it's one of the only times i've sort of listed live with someone else i uh, went on uh, Vinegar Jar's channel, he's had two mentions in this video now. But his name's not Vinegar Jar No, anymore. Sales of the Unexpected. And, um, yeah, they did okay. And then, so we picked it up, and I was bringing it in just now to put it on the table, and I dropped it. I dropped one little tub. It's dark outside. And, um, yeah, it went all over, like, the gravel, uh, gravel driveway. Absolute, in the dark. Absolute carnage. In the rain. Yeah, so I picked up as much as I could and then I came through the gate into the garden and dropped it again. <laughs> <laughs> and the dogs were walking over it. Oh, yeah, I didn't know that bit. Didn't they did it on the patio? Yeah, that well, was the patio and again the gravel to the side of the patio. <sighs> so we may have lost a small army in the process of all that. Uh, you know, it'll all, it'll all be clear in the daylight. So yeah, I just thought we'd show you quickly what we got. Um, I know a few of you are kind of pretty specialist in, in this kind of area. We're not. Someone mentioned the other day that uh, to not pick up things that you don't know about. Oh, that's and, boring. Um, yeah, I completely, 100% respect the person that said that, but I completely disagree with that. Um, think some of our best Probably some of our best sales have been things that we weren't necessarily comfortable with at the time. Ones that come off the top of my head were in the early days were lawn bowls. Yeah. Uh, the thing that we've just sold for nearly £300, which depending where this part of the video goes, you may have seen or it might be coming up. Um, the hearing aid stuff, mm. uh, the bargeware jug. Mm -hmm. You know, these paperweights. Are... I didn't know anything about paperweights or yeah. glassware. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, have a little, have a little play around. Uh, this was only twenty pounds, so it's not a lot to risk. Faye had a quick look a minute ago. She just grabbed something out of the tub because she loves a spoiler, and um, was looking stuff up, weren't you? Were like looking yeah. one thing up, yeah, and, and and I think in your words, you were like, oh, I think you've done it right. Here. Yeah, no. And you're only looking at one thing. Yeah. Um, so just like really quickly, we'll go through it. I've, already put a video up which I took just a minute ago when Faye was in the kitchen so she'll be wondering what I'm talking about um, so I've shown you the sort of overview of what's here but there's a couple of bags and tubs that you haven't been able to see them. so there's all this sort of stuff now this I don't think is action man um, but you know we're gonna, we're gonna basically make our bundles and the idea is we. so yeah me 
when I make up bundles, I'm always, I don't want to make a bundle that's, that's going to be selling for less than 20 quid. Ideally, more because I'm likely to take an offer around that value. I just don't seem really talked about this before, but I don't really see the point of kind of making, like aiming to sell anything for less than that sort of money. Well, um, look at this guy. Unless it's like, you know, really easy to pick and pack and photograph and all that sort of stuff. You know where I'm coming from. Um, so we'll be kind of looking at, you know, making nice little play sets out of all of this um, stuff. I mean, that's a bit cheap and nasty. Um, so in here, it's just a whole host of stuff. Fencing, these tanks, these are corgi actually. Oh, are they? Yeah, and they're, met they're like metal. So there's a few of those. Another one, is that a corgi one? Well, the one I looked at didn't oh, have, well, he looks old. <coughs> yeah. Um, so these are all me metal tanks you're putting out here. So, and there's like terrain and... Uh, flora and fauna? Yeah. Yeah. There's some flora and fauna. Matchbox, that one is. Um, you need a, like, a loop or a microphone glass for some of these. Yeah, what was it you said, Lab the bloke you were looking at? Let's have a look. What did I look up? So there's loads of little characters. He looks pretty fabulous, doesn't he? I don't know what it was. Okay, no worries. It's just loads and loads of figures. Look, it's a uh, mouth guard. <laughs> More tanks. Loads of figures, figures. This guy can't walk, he just kneels. Is his name Neil? Yeah, that's the Sergeant Neil. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he's like a bit, he's like doing a moonwalk or something, or doing some sort of Jacko move. Oh, this guy's got loads of writing on his feet. Oh, Chap May. Oh, oh that's what you said earlier. Mm. More metal tanks, these are Churchill. Plastic tanks. More people, people. I found some more flora and fauna. What I'll do, once I've got it all out and all, I'm just gonna basically pile it up on the floor and then make sets and sort of set them up into a little, you know, scene, as oh, it were. Are you? Uh, yeah, I think so. What are you can do with these Just ones? in terms of, because of all the, well, yeah. So next, just because of all the flora and fauna, that's another tank, sort of metal. Um, and then there's loads that are oh, more of these same people. I think. Oh, he's oh, the guy I looked up. He was Chap May. So there's that big tub, and then there's this one, which is like army men, more kind of stuff. Well, more. Right. So how do you sell these things? They just say China on the bottom. So do you sell these on their own? Are these mm. part of, like these are just sort of generic universal yeah. Yeah, yeah, soldiers? Yeah, yeah. So this is like. I don't, uh, army men, I think is a brand, isn't it? But, oh. so you just like, yeah, army soldiers or whatever, and just literally, is, I mean, there's so many of them. Um, I'll just lay them all out and hope for the best. So it's a bit of a project. Uh, and I don't really, I'm not really into sort of making projects for myself, but. Projects you have not started yet, like all the vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, for 20 pounds, the lady said, that she was it just been sitting in a garage and she couldn't wait to get rid of it. So I'll probably sit in our equivalent garage, aka the barn. So I'm gonna obviously pull out what I think is best. You know, tubs. I'm not really sort of fussed about all these. There's thousands of army men. They could have been the ones I dropped on the drive. There's loads of them. Um, I took a picture, which again by now I will have put up. What have your mess on the drive? Yeah. Could have been that one. Who knows? <coughs> um, what's in this one? That's More dusty. Sort of smells really musty as well. Like that. It says super detailed. D E E T A I L. England. Britain, 1984. This guy looks old. And then there's other ones that aren't, that are sort of just plastic and obviously. 
not old. Also, I got this, which the lady said something sits on here and it will be in here somewhere. And then she's also shown me this and said that if I put batteries in, it'll probably work again. Broken leg pie. But yeah, she told me that. I noticed the broken wheel. It's missing a wheel, which is a shame. And then two bags. Not looked inside these at all. Oh. Let me guess, army men. A ton more oh. of the plastic army men. Oh my gosh. Anyone want to come around and give me a hand? <laughs> and then this, this is the one I'm sort of most interested in because this is where the action men are, I assume, yeah. Uh, this one's gone topless and this one <laughs> has gone bottomless. Oh, Yeah, let's, let's not. Uh, this guy that he's been working out. Um, Ooh. <laughs> uh, we've just been hanging out like this. Um, now, she said that she thought there was um, four action men and in the picture, yeah, so that's the action man. Oh, got Tattoo is an AM, yeah. Uh, so he's got one. He's got one. Another one there. What's this? Oh, oh it's like a jacket. A snowsuit type thing. Oh, I can see a pair of legs. Yeah, we've got all sorts going on in here. There's another one. Oh, it's the diver. Oh, yeah, we've had him, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. And then we've got vehicles. Uh, that's Soldier Force. Is that what? Yes. That is. Yeah. Um, so, I don't really know how interesting this portion of the video is. It may get bumped to the end. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's the same guy as all those other guys, isn't it? Oh, okay. Um, that's pretty serious. I mean, that's a bit painful. <laughs> Just so much of it. Is that like Prince costume or something? <laughs> Maybe that's what he wears in the evening. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on? To the social Trousers club. To match, little velvet purple numbers. Oh, hang on, there's another bag here. I mean, it looks like weapons. Oh, yeah. Guns mm. and stuff. Lots and lots of guns. Um. That's where his arm went. Don't worry matey, we'll be putting that back on later. So there we go, we'll uh, maybe keep you updated or hopefully you'll see some things in a sales video in about three years. No, because I'm clearing space now <laughs> and I've got three of my projects, so... Some of them. All of them? Well, once haven't I got three? That lovely bundle of posters you bought at auction. You bought them. No, I didn't. I didn't buy them. You did. No, I didn't. Did. Did I? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's why I keep referring to them as your posters. I thought they were our posters. Well, they are our posters, yeah, but... You bought them. So we hope you enjoyed this week's video. So it's a bit of a shorter one, uh, but we've got plenty more coming back at you very, very soon. Yeah, it's been, it was a shorter one. We've both been ill and just weren't feeling it, weren't we? we you wouldn't have wanted to watch us on video. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, bye for now. Bye. Vinegar pourer. So you can do that again and say it's a vinegar jar. Oh, a vinegar pourer? <laughs> oh, you want me to say it's a vinegar jar? Yeah. Oh, a vinegar jar.